Hey guys, I just want to let you know that surfing out at Sunset is no joke. All the guys out there had inflatable vests or impact vests on, and this is what makes it safe for them to do that. They also had a really good team of watermen in the water with them helping them out. So think about it before you paddle out there. Don't risk your life just to get that shot and make sure that you have the right gear for the job. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was the craziest rush being out there and we're just so stoked that we're safe and sound and I hope you guys enjoy it. Champ. You awake? I'm awake. Ready to go. You ready to go? Alright. Come on down. Is it, is it okay then? It's, it's crispy clean. The swell's slowly pushing in. Um, we might even manage sunsets while the swell starts to push in. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Pack up and, pack gonna, up and come. Down the next, yeah, on the next like five, ten minutes. Okay, we're standing by on the beach. I'll see, I'll see you now. <laughs> Alright, cheers. We are out here on a beautiful Cape Town day. We are here with Aiden Cleave from Bodyboarding South Africa and of course world champion Ian Campbell. We've found a spot we're going to settle for. The swell's building and building through the day so we're going to have one six session now and then we'll have to reassess what we do later because it's going to be absolutely massive and pretty excited to see what we can do. So cool guys, stay tuned and uh, check this out. There's been quite a turn of events here. We were due to go back out to the reef, but uh, on chatting to Sasha Speaker, he says that sunset is perfect for the book. So that's all Ian and Aiden needed to hear. Pretty good offshore now. Lots of guys with pool vests and things. We're kind of going a bit less uh, charged up, but dropping. Didn't he? Yeah, okay, sweet. We're in the clear. Ian, what are your thoughts on this? cucking myself now that we're talking about it but i guess at the same time you know we just we just gotta go man. can't think about it too much no we just gotta keep paddling past the actual good wave all the way to the back where the bad waves are but they're bigger and then get on those and then we'll be fine waves didn't really perform like we thought they would but the wind's been clear the whole day we've had a little breather a little break had a bit of chicken and avo and egg and things to refuel and now Ian decides, let's go surf sunsets. I let's said, no, go. let's not do it. Stop being scared, bro, let's go. So now he's, he's pushing my button. So we're going to go <laughs> surf sunsets, give it a go. Smooth. Uh, hopefully we can find some waves.
That was so sick. Completely last minute plans. It was actually the original plans to be honest. But uh, we had a boat and it fell through, but then thank goodness we bumped into Spex and he kind of convinced Aiden and Ian to give it a paddle. So thanks Spex. Yeah, it's tough out there. There's long, long lulls and um, it made it hard because I mean the last battery I had on my drone, they lost about 25 minutes. I got one wave, one wave in 25 minutes. So not the most prolific day, but it's still epic. Oh, now the sets want to come in with that I brought the drone back and run out of batteries. So anyway, it's amazing perspective out there. Can't wait to come back and do it again when there's more regular sets, but yeah, man, what an epic afternoon. At the start, it's hectic, right? And because I think it's also, it's like, it's probably more like the novelty of like watching those big waves normally, yeah. rather than the fact that it's like a big wave spot. Yeah. Like you see such photo, like with it windy and all, and all the rest. Yeah. When there's and no wind, it definitely stuff. helps. If there was less guys, I reckon. Cool, we would have got sick ones. Yeah, we would have got like all the bombs for sure. So there's just, there's a lot of guys out there. So. We had a whale swim under us. Did you see the whale? What? No. We had like a whale literally swam under me and like. Because he wasn't the only one in the lineup though. It was a bunch of us that had swam under. And it was just me. <laughs> <laughs> and it came under me. As it came towards me, the water like poured off the edge of it and made a bow towards me got like mesmerized and then I realized there's a whale and there's a set coming and this thing did like a u-turn kicked some water like fanged out to sea he's I making, didn't know what to be scared of like he's a whale making it sound wave. way more crazy than it was that's really. how it was for me it just came out of the, the water and went literally down literally on my, on my doorstep <laughs> like a genetic dolphin so. yes okay so Ian would you do that again yeah I did again for sure but it's got to be it's got to be like these conditions right because if I reckon if it's any windier yeah the no wind good. up the face is already bad and it's not even blowing today. So if there was any more wind, I reckon it would just be too crazy on a bodyboard. Like, we're struggling to get on some of them. So to try to get on the, that size wave with wind blowing up the face would be like near impossible on a boat. Yeah. For sure. Maybe a toe sesh though. Maybe we need to stick to Bromley when it gets bigger. Get the jet ski out. Yeah. I mean, that'd be, yeah, that'd be a different level. Then you're gonna have to probably get a bit more than like, plastic in our wetsuits as our insulation. <laughs> but I reckon the next one's the scary part. Like, not the fact that you like missed one. Yeah. It's like the next yeah, one yeah. that comes and you like, you turn oh. around you're like, oh my goodness. And then the next one's like towering over you. You're like, yes, can I make it under this thing? <laughs> it was a super epic day. We've, we've surfed twice. Aiden had to go do some sort of errands but um it was, right to refuel it was, it was good to come back and have a go out at at sunset i mean that, i don't think we would have done it otherwise no it's like it seems like today is possibly one of the very few days that we would have had a chance to do this so yeah super stoked to go out there and really different experience being out big wave spot yeah trying to paddle into some mountains Good to do with a good crew though. Yeah, it was a sick day. Slacker. All around banger and the water was toasty as ever. <laughs> yeah. So warm. I think it's the warmest water I've ever <laughs> surfed in Komiki area. It yeah. was like, you didn't, I For didn't sure. even think you needed a 4-3. A 3-2 three. Three would have been just fine. Yeah, I reckon. And I was toasty this morning in my, in my hood. So, yeah, very worthwhile day. Lost the GoPro, but still smiling <laughs> <laughs> good memories though <laughs> yeah sick uh, epic what an absolutely awesome day guys droning sunsets was actually on my bucket list for a very long time um, thanks to my mate Andrew Knight who actually gave me that uh, idea so it's so good that it actually came to fruition um, Massive respect to Ian and Aiden for tackling it, pushing the limits of bodyboarding in South Africa and in Cape Town. And I'm so stoked to be a part of it. So stoked to be able to bring it to you guys. Um, yeah, there's just people out there like Ian and Aiden that just aren't normal. <laughs> They're just not normal. They are special people and they can do some pretty special things. So uh, big ups to those guys. So stoked to be a part of it and document it. And I hope you guys at home are stoked about it too. So. Thanks so much for watching guys, um, it's, it's such a fun experience, it's been such a good response from everyone, so thank you so much and I can't wait to bring you more very very soon.